Hello and welcome. For those of you who are new to the channel, hello and welcome. And for those of you who have been here through a long time, thank you for joining me again. It's a pleasure to have you on the channel. So I'm currently in the Bunk Barn. This is a remote barn in the Peak District. It's quite high up. The snow is absolutely hammering it down. It was a fantastic drive to get here. And one of the reasons why I've come here today is because I wanted to explore a problem that I've got with the hobby, with the ham radio hobby. It's a personal problem and I just wanted just to air some of my thoughts about it. And that key issue that I've got, the key problem that I've got with the hobby at the moment is that I'm falling out of love with it and struggling to maintain an interest in some of the key parts of the hobby. So one of the problems I've got in the hobby, which I'll go into a bit more detail, is the actual making contact, voice contacts with people. I seem to be getting a bit bored of it. I, I, I'm seeing, and I seem to be getting a bit bored of some of the fundamental parts of, or what we, what we consider the fundamental parts of a ham radio hobby, which is making voice contacts with people and chatting to people on the radio. I'm just losing interest of some of those aspects a bit. However, what I am trying to do is to maintain my interest in the hobby. I'm exploring all the other wonderful things that you can do with radio and communications. So I'm hoping in this video to get a radio on the air, play about with some radio, some digital modes, make some voice contacts hopefully, but really just to bounce a few ideas back and forth with uh, you viewers. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Tango. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Okay, uh, Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango, you're 589. Yeah, thank you very much. You are 59 plus 10 dB, Steve. I'm out in the Peak District Portable Station tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great weekend and it's 73. Yep, cheers, 73. Bye bye. Yeah, Mexico Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Mexico Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango is correct. Uh, Mexico Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Righto. So, um, the setup, the setup today what is <clears throat> it's my usual setup when I come here to the punk barn. It's a NFED um, half-wave antenna. So the ICOM 705, I'm really enjoying this radio because it's very versatile. It allows me to uh, use it in the truck, use it in a backpack, go climb up high places with a backpack and use the radio up there. So for me, the, the 705 is a fantastic radio. I know tonight I've only got 10 watts, but you know, I can, 
I can make contacts on 10 watts on voice and on digital that's not a major problem but for me for me this <clears throat> so the interesting bit here is I do get one or two comments on on the channel that I seem to struggle to make contacts half the time is because a I don't record all the contacts that I make and B I'm not a huge I'm not I'm not kind of person that chases lots and lots of contacts I've got log books that are full of contacts for over the years but I don't I don't come out to places like this to just hammer the radio and get lots and lots of contacts um, because that doesn't interest me that much the thing that does interest me in ham, <clears throat> ham radio and around radio communications is I'm really interested in the the effects of propagation the way that when you come to places like this in the middle of nowhere you get to really hear all the mystery that the radio can bring the way that propagation can bring stations in and out um, you've got you know got a bunch of um, military stations military radio activity commercial radio activity um, experimental um, radio as well so you've got all of this these aspects of the hobby which I it is maintaining it's maintaining my interest in the hobby if it wasn't for that I think I my radios would, would be gathering dust if my main if the, my main purpose for getting into ham radio was for just making contacts and just talking to people at this point I'd be struggling with the hobby but at the moment I'm maintaining the interest because there's a wider scope to what you can do with radio from working digital mode learning <clears throat> learning how signals are generated using um, computers um, getting computers to talk to each other sending data to each other decoding signals on the uh, different frequencies uh, all of this I think is is, is, is the, the richer part of the hobby for me rather than talking to Bob down the road continuously I'm interested in hearing have any of you had the same experience in the hobby where you've lost interest but then you regained interest or you've changed what you do in the hobby and it's allowed you to um, really fall back in love with it I'm interested if you can share some of those ideas and some of those stories I think it will help other people who are similar to me that um, get to a point where it's a bit like a long term marriage where you need a bit more spice in it apparently um so uh, please share, please share um any any uh, ideas and stories tips and tricks to uh, keep people interested in the hobby Right, so tea tonight is going to be uh, slow cooked beef and harissa paste. So basically, um, fry some onions down and make a bit of a base, um, brown off the uh, the beef, and then I'm going to chuck in pretty much all most of this jar of harissa paste and this ras al hanu. So if you can see that or not, this is a Mexican sorry this is a Moroccan mix of spices so it's a it's going to be a Moroccan um, influenced tea tonight slow cook the beef harissa paste some spices once that's cooked down for a couple of hours then I'm going to chuck in sweet potato with some green beans and I'm going to get some of the raisins out of this uh, mix bag and chuck some raisins in to add a bit of sweetness in there um, I'm going to chuck in one one chili. That's all I've got with me. Chuck in the chili. So basically, it is a harissa beef with um, vegetables.
Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you are five nine uh, five nine plus. I'm at portable station in the Peak District tonight. Fantastic signal. Uh, bid you seven three from Mike Zero Sierra at Zulu Tango Portable. Yeah, bye bye, seven three. Right, good morning. Um, <clears throat> it was a bit of a stormy night, that was the uh, the weather. It's sort of still a bit murky out there. Uh, driving conditions will be absolutely awful, so I'm going to stay here for a few more hours. <clears throat> um, I tried to get up early to do the early morning DX. Uh, that didn't happen. It was so cold and dark. I stayed under covers for a bit. But I'm here, I'm up, I'm awake, doing some FT8. I've just got Japan on ft8 on 10 watts which i think is quite interesting i'm running ft8 for a bit because it allows me to do two, two things it allows me to make some ft8 contacts with people um the two-way element of that is really interesting um but just by putting some cq calls out on ft8 it gives you an idea of um who can hear you as well so it's almost like a beacon as well as trying to get some two-way contacts so i know there's some people i know there's haters in the hobby like any hobby will hate new things um i suppose in stamp collecting people would hate plastic serrated edges on stamps when they used to be hand cut or something i don't know there's always something there's always somebody that doesn't like something new about a hobby. FT8 for me is a fantastic addition to the hobby. It's kept many people, I think, I think FT8 and FT4 and whatever comes next will interest, will keep people in the hobby, will bring new people into the hobby. It keeps the hobby alive. So I've got absolutely no problem with people wanting just to stick with FT8 if they want to or FT4 or whatever digital mode is coming next because it's all radio, it's all radio stuff, it's all technology, it's communications, it's data being sent back and forth. What's wrong with that? Um, so I'm, I'm quite I'm, I'm quite glad that in the past five years um, that, that modes like JS8 and FT8 have come along because um, it's kept my interest in, in, in it going a bit further. It allows me it allows me to actually run the radio, um, do a few things, potter about, do a bit of construction if I do that kind of stuff, and actually play radio at the same time. So actually it allows people to do more in the hobby rather than just to sit on, in front of the radio and, you know, just getting loads of contacts in that way. Uh, it's it's just more versatile. It's a new part of the hobby, put it that way. The uh, visibility is uh, still poor outside, so I'm just gonna leave it another half hour, hour, and then uh, head home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So don't forget to comment if you've got any ideas that may help other people to maintain interest in the hobby. It's one of those things I think it comes and goes when you've been in the hobby for a while. This uh, waning interest and it's something that um, I'm, I'm interested to know more about actually. How to keep that interest going in the hobby. Thank you for watching anyway and I'll see you on the next video. So bye bye for now.